Meghan stuns royal fans when records son Archie's name and Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex has two children. The Duchess of Sussex has spoken out about the inspiration behind her son Archie's name and she has set the record straight. In the latest episode of Meghan's podcast Archetypes, she was speaking with Mindy Kaling about childhood. The Duchess said, I was alone so much as a child, right, and also a latchkey kid, and I think I read a lot of Archie comic books ironically. My son is not named after Archie comic books, but I love them. I collected them. Prince Harry and his wife welcomed baby Archie into the world in 2019, and his full name is Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Finding Freedom authors Ahmed Scobia and Caroline Durand revealed that the couple wanted something traditional, a name that was powerful even without a title in front of it. A friend of the couple told the writers, they thought about Archibald for all of one second. He was always going to be little Archie. The name Archie means strength and bravery. And is also behind the inspiration for Harry and Meghan's organization Archie Will and the Duchess podcast, Archetypes. Harry and Meghan's second-born child, Lilibet, was named after her great-grandmother Her Majesty the Queen as that's her family nickname, instead of her given name Elizabeth. The official birth announcement statement read, It is with great joy that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, welcome their daughter, Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, to the world. Explaining their choice of name, they added, Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen whose family nickname is Lilibut. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. Meghan has given a candid insight into her childhood in the latest episode of her podcast, Archetypes. In the third installment, the Duchess sat down with Mindy Kaling to discuss the star's decision to have two children on her own title The Stigma of the Singleton. It was released on Tuesday. The same day Meghan and the Duke of Sussex travelled to Germany for an Invictus Games event. And a day after the Duchess addressed delegates at the One Young World Summit in Manchester on Monday. During the episode, Meghan described herself as a loner at school and an ugly duckling who had no one to sit next to at lunch. The former Suits actress admitted it was really hard and that she was the smart one forever and ever and ever rather than the pretty one during her time at Immaculate Heart All Girls Catholic School in Los Angeles. At one point in the conversation, Mindy asked Megan, were you not the pretty one growing up? Megan replied, no. Oh God, no. What? That is news to me, Mindy said in response. The Duchess explained, ugly duckling. Yeah no, maybe not conventional beauty. Now maybe that would be seen as beautiful, but massive, frizzy curly hair and a huge gap in my teeth. I was the smart one forever and ever and ever and ever, and then just sort of grew up. She added, I never had anyone to sit with at lunch. I was always a little bit of a loner and really shy, and didn't know where I fit in. I was like, I'll become the president of the multicultural club and the president of sophomore class. And the president of this and French club and, by doing that, I had meetings at lunch time. Mindy then said she thought Megan was that one nice hot girl who has her head screwed on, before Megan replied, no, it was really hard. Megan was spotted leaning in close to members of the public as she posed for selfies. Prince Harry also smiled for photos with excited fans. Prince Harry seemed especially thrilled to meet a small black and brown dog, sweetly petting the pup with a big grin on his face. Earlier in the day, Megan and Harry who have three dogs of their own at home in California. Made sure to give a few pets to a service dog named Loki, who was sporting an Invictus Games bandana. And as with all walkabouts, Prince Harry and Meghan were sure to give lots of handshakes and waves. Dusseldorf was first announced as a future host city for the Invictus Games Harris International Adaptive Sports Competition for Injured. Sick and wounded service personnel and veterans in 2020 with the event initially set for 2022. However, when the coronavirus pandemic delayed the 2020 Invictus Games in The Hague, the Netherlands until 2022, preparations for Dusseldorf were also bumped back. The first Invictus Games in Germany are set to take place from 9 September to 16, 2023. Prince Harry launched the Paralympic-style sports tournament in 2013 after attending the 2013 Warrior Games in the US. 
inspired by the transformative physical, psychological and social powers of sports for those who have served. Life is full of extraordinary gifts and challenges, many that can be seen as lessons, the Duke of Sussex told. Over time, I've learned that how we mentally approach and react to the ups and downs those gifts and challenges is what helps to define our own outcome. Harry and Meghan are in Europe this week for a series of charitable events. They kicked off the trip in Manchester, England on Monday for the One Young World Summit. And are expected to return to the UK for the World Child Awards. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.